Now, the Senate has mandated its Committee on Health to meet with the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC following reports of mysterious deaths recorded in Bonny Island River State. The upper chamber, while urging the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management through the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to provide life materials to the people of Bonny Island, mandated the Committee on Environment to meet with the National Oil Spill Detection and Response Agency, NOSDRA, to ensure the reduction of marine pollution of all kinds. These formed part of resolutions reached by the Senate following consideration of a motion on the urgent need to intervene in the mysterious deaths in Bonny Island. The sponsor of the motion, Betty Apiaifi, lamented that in the last week of March 2020, there were incidents of large quantities of dead fish around the Bonny and Doni shores and several other coastal communities along the Atlantic shoreline in the Niger Delta region, stretching from rivers, Bialsa, Delta, Aquaibum, and Ondo states. According to the lawmaker, less than six weeks later, mysterious deaths have been occurring on the island and is reported to have claimed about 13 lives. Dr. Tui joins us via Skype. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Felicity. Okay, uh, the Senate has raised concerns at plenary um, about the mysterious deaths on Bonny Island. What do you uh, know about this? Well, again, it is nice for them to raise concern about deaths. Of course, we, we, we remember a few uh, weeks ago, there were a lot of fish that are washed ashore of that island, and people were wondering what was causing the death of those fish. Um, now, normally, the response should have been at the local level. The, the critical question we need to ask it is, the first response should be at local question, the local level. Now, the, the medical officer of health in the local government, the local government people, the health system in the state, what have they done so far? What investigation have they done? What have they seen? Now, we agree that there are quite a lot of spills that is happening and, of course, messing up the marine environment. And we, we, we should appreciate the fact that uh, these people, are, you know, they stay on top of water, they live on top of water, and if any contamination will affect their life. Now we're seeing more death. The question is that what is causing the death? What caused the death of those fish? So now the investigation goes beyond, it's not just about sending it's about scientific, adducing a lot of scientific evidence to look at the likelihood of what might have caused those things. So uh, we need a, a lot of work needs to be done, and then we shouldn't wait until we have this kind of disaster on our hand before we start raising panels. What are we doing consistently to monitor our marine environment, to look at uh, what is possible, what can be a danger to the people there? For me, that, those are critical things that are very, that are more quite, quite, quite germane. Do you expect this investigation uh, to commence and verification of the facts on the ground as, as quickly as possible, considering uh, we have a pandemic situation? Um, you see, in Nigeria, we, we're transiting to a very dangerous and challenging situation as it is now. Um, I, I expect people to consider this as an, an urgent matter. The health issue situation, okay, the, 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 the frequency at which we are seeing epidemics in this country is too embarrassing. Now, um, as much as we're fighting Lassa, um, uh, COVID-19 came, now we're seeing death in Bonny Island. So it is important for us to take health as a serious issue, you know, um, and mobilize as much as possible and quickly to ensure we get results. But as the, like all cases of things in Nigeria, well, we just hope that we get the right thing as soon as possible.